Good day everyone and welcome back. In today's session, I will share to you about the truth values of propositions. Remember, a proposition can either be true or false, but cannot be both at the same time. So previously, I have shared to you about the different logical connectors. We have the negation, represented by the symbol not P. We also have conjunction, and this is read as P and Q. We also have disjunction, P or Q, so do not be confused with conjunction and disjunction. For conjunction, the connective word is AND, and its symbol is pointed upward. While for disjunction, its connective word is OR, and its symbol points downwards. We also have the conditional proposition, and this is read as P implies Q, or the if-then statement. And finally, the biconditional proposition, represented by the symbol P, if and only if, Q. Today, we will focus on the negation, conjunction, and disjunction of propositions. So basically, we will be determining the truth values of these three logical operators. Are you ready? Let's start. Negation. Negation is a proposition which is the result of reversing the truth value of the given proposition. It is denoted by the symbol and this is read as not P. For its truth table, we have the proposition P. So the proposition P can be true or false. Now if we take the negation of this proposition, this is the symbol not P. When P is true, its negation is false. And when P is false, its negation is true. Why? This is the rule. The truth table tells us that when P is true, its negation or not P is false. On the other hand, when P is false, the negation not P is true. So basically, we just reverse the truth value of the given proposition. If it is true, then its negation is false. If the proposition is false, then its negation is true. For example, state the negation of its proposition and determine the truth value. So we have here the proposition. Proposition sub 1, Bohol is an island in Visayas. It is true that Bohol is in Visayas, right? Now for its negation, when we negate this proposition, we just simply write this as it is not the case that Bohol is an island in Visayas, so its truth value becomes false. How do you determine if the given proposition is already its negation? Simple, just have to look for the word not or the words it is not the case that. Okay, so let us have another example. We have 3 is an even number. We all know that 3 is an odd number, therefore this proposition is false. So if we take its negation for its English statement, we have 3 is not an even number. And its truth value is true. So that's the basics about the negation of propositions. We just reverse the truth value of the given propositions. Do you copy? Very good. So let's move on to the second logical connector. We have conjunction. Conjunction is the result of combining two other propositions called conjuncts with the connective word and. It is denoted by the symbol and this is read as P and Q. So for its truth table, we have two propositions, proposition P and the proposition Q. The result of combining these two propositions is conjunction. If the proposition P is true and the proposition Q is true, then this is the rule. The conjunction P and Q is true only when both conjuncts P and Q are true. So if the two conjuncts are true, then their conjunction is also true. Therefore, this is true. 
If P is true, Q is false. Well, based on the rule, it is false since one of its conjuncts is already false. When P is false and Q is true, of course, its truth value is also false. And when P and Q are both false, naturally, the conjunction P and Q is also false. By the way, words like but, even though, yet, and while are also used to flag conjunctions. It's not only the word and, but we can also use the words but, even though, yet, and while. So if you've seen these words, they also connote conjunction. It's only when the two conjuncts are true that the conjunction of the propositions P and Q is true. Let's have an example. Give the symbolic statement of each proposition and determine the truth value. Assume that both P and Q are true. So we have here the proposition P, angels exist. And proposition Q, pi is greater than 3. It is given in the instruction to assume that both P and Q are true. So let's start. We have here the English statement, the symbolic statement, and the truth value. For this statement, angels exist and pi is greater than 3. So for its symbolic statement, we have P and Q. Its truth value is true since both conjuncts are true. Another, angels exist yet pi is less than or equal to 3. So in this case, the proposition Q is negated. Therefore, its symbolic statement is P and not Q. So now, its truth value is false. Since one of its conjunct, particularly the proposition Q, is already false. Angels do not exist and pi is less than or equal to 3. So, for the proposition P, it is being negated, and also the proposition Q. So, in symbolic statement, that is not P and not Q. Of course, its truth value is false. Both conjuncts are false. Then, while angels do not exist, pi is greater than 3. So, for proposition P, angels do not exist, proposition P is being negated. Therefore, the symbolic statement is not P and Q. Its truth value is, of course, false. Still, one of its conjuncts is false. Remember, for conjunction, it's only when both propositions are true that their conjunction is also true. The rest becomes false. Let us proceed with this junction. This junction is the result of combining two other propositions called disjuncts with the connecting word OR. In symbols, it is denoted by this and it's read as P or Q. So for its truth table, if P is true, Q is true, the rule there is that the disjunction P or Q is false only when both disjuncts P and Q are false. Take note, disjunction P or Q is false only when both disjuncts P and Q are false. So therefore, if P is true, Q is true, the disjunction is true. If P is true, Q is false, still it is true. If P is false, but Q is true, of course, it is still true. However, when both P and Q are false, then the disjunction of the propositions P or Q is false. It is very clear in the rule that it is only when both disjuncts P and Q are false that the disjunction of P or Q is also false. Otherwise, even if one of its disjuncts is false, still it is true. Let us have an example. Express the given symbolic statements into its English statement and find its truth value. Assume that 
both P, Q, and R are true. So we have P. Victor has a date with Lisa. Q. January is sleeping. R. Ymir is eating. So we need to translate these symbols into its English statement. Let's start with the first one. P or R. That means to say Victor has a date with Lisa or R. Ymir is eating. Since it's in the instruction that P, Q, and R are true, then the whole disjunction is true. For number two, Q or not R. So in English statement, that is, January is sleeping or Yumir is not eating. Its truth value is still true. Even if R is being negated, since one of its disjunct is true, then the whole proposition is true. And for number three, not R or not P. Either Yumir is not eating or Victor does not have a date with Lisa. So its truth value is false since both of its disjuncts are false. So that is all about the truth values of propositions, particularly for negation, conjunction, and disjunction. In the next lesson, I will discuss to you about the truth values of conditional and by conditional propositions see you in the next lesson